Damn. Is that you? Oh my god. I did not recognize you at all. You changed. Between last week when I said you sucked at saving money and today, oh my god, you look like a badass saver. And honestly, if you're here right now watching this video, I know you want to change something or I know you want to learn more about saving. So you are now a badass saver. Hi hustlers, welcome to Financial Vibes, a channel dedicated to convey you to take charge of your finances because you really need it. My name is Tidia and today we're going to look into the first steps to save money. <laughs> I'm so sorry you guys. I filmed this part after the whole video and I realized I forgot my mic. So my voice might be a little annoying on the video and I'm sorry, last week I was blurry, this week I forgot the mic. If you can bear with me, thank you, I appreciate you. Okay, so a few weeks ago you realized that you lived paycheck to paycheck and now you are in trouble because you see that nothing is promised in the world and you always need to be ready and you want to change that. Or maybe you still have a job so it doesn't affect you the situation with the coronavirus but you want to save because you have a goal to achieve. So, I got you covered. So last week I already explained what was the first step, like the ultimate step you need to do to learn how to save. So if you didn't watch this video, pause this video and go watch it. The link will be right here so you can click on it and then you can come back here. In this video I'll be using a guide that I call Have a Vision Baby and this guide I made myself and if you really want it, I will be giving it away. So it's an official giveaway. You can comment down below money in capital letter and also you have to like this video and you have to be subscribed to my youtube channel and on my next video i will announce the winner and the winner can have have a vision baby if you do not have have a vision baby you can still follow this video you can use a paper a pen yes those two things that you probably haven't touched in a while. You can open a new tab, your notebook, your digital notebook, whatever, but be prepared because we're about to do this together. If you don't do this with me, I know you're never gonna do it, so do it. If you're watching this video and you really won't have a vision baby and you didn't win it, check down the description box. If ever I change my mind and I decide to make it available for all, I'll put the link down below, but no, the link is not there yet. If I change my mind, it'll be there. No, 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 don't leave if you're watching this video and you don't have any income coming in now because of the situation or you just don't work. No, it's also for you. Stay the course because this will teach you how to manage your own money when you'll have some. This video will be separated in two parts. Number one, have a vision baby and that part we're mostly going to tell the world what's your goal the second part will be what's up today so what's your financial situation in my next videos we will continue this subject we will learn how to analyze the result that we find today and also we will learn how to make plans budget methods and stuff like that so if you don't want to miss it subscribe to my channel and activate that notification bell because it's day day time to learn something. One last thing, you're gonna need to have your baking statement very close or any types of bills because we're gonna lay out everything that's in your financial situation. Also, we will be following Have a Vision Baby and um, that's why I have my phone in my hands because I'm screen recording from my phone while I'm talking to you. It's like magic. So, let's start. Have a Vision Baby starts with part one, the mindset, but We've already covered that in my previous video that you watched. Yes, you did. So we're gonna skip that through. Da, da, da. Skip, 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 skip. Part two, the vision baby. It starts with a beautiful quote. You are brave to live the life of your dreams according to your vision. Yes. You are. I'm pointing at you, but uh, when I point at you, I remember my parents saying, don't point at people. And then I just point at you and it just feels awkward, so I'm just gonna stop. Okay, first thing first, we need to make a goal. You need to have a specific goal. Saving for saving is not gonna work, especially if you have a hard time saving. You need to have a purpose. It needs to be very specific. If you want a car, you have to have an idea of like what kind of car do you want, when do you want it. So what are you saving for? Okay, so you can be saving for a wedding, you can be saving for a security funds, you can be saving for your retirement, you can be saving for a car, for travel, anything really that you want to do that requires a bunch of money. Okay, so I'm gonna do this at the same time with you. So what am I saving for? Which by the way, I am not saving because I, I don't work, you guys know this, and I 
live of my previous saving that I was saving to travel all summer and I decided to quit my job and use these savings to survive, if that makes any sense. Okay, so what do you guys think I'm saving for? You guys know the answer, really. Da, 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 da. I'm saving for early retirement. I want to be able to make the decision to stop working or to work if I want to, uh, whenever I want to. So that's my goal. And yeah, I guess it's not a surprise for you guys. <laughs> Number two. Like I said, a goal needs to be extremely specific. How much money do you need to save? So because you already know what type of car you want, what type of house you want, and kind of where you want it, you know the price and you need to be specific. I cannot say that enough. Be specific. Be specific. Be specific. 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 So, how much money do you need? Okay, let's go see how much money I think will be enough to early retire. Okay, so I am saying 1.5 million. And now that I look back, I don't know if that's, <laughs> I don't know if that will be enough, but shh. Next, when do you need the money? Again, um, I cannot repeat that enough. You need to be specific. Specific. Do you need the money in six months? Do you need the money in one year? Five years? Ten years? I want this money in 11 years, by the age of 35 years old. Oh my God. Wish me luck, please. Making goals gives you something to focus on consciously and unconsciously. So whatever you believe in, either you believe in science so that your brain knows that it wants something will work on it more than if it doesn't know what it wants. If you're a religious person, let's say, and making some goals, it's important because you can say out loud to your supreme force what you want and that supreme force might listen to you and help you. If you're more spiritual and you believe in law of attraction, the law of attraction says if you put it out to the wall that you want something, the world is just gonna give it back to you. So whatever you believe in, I'm super open and I'm promising you that making goals will work. With time and with hard work also. Moving on, part two, what's up today? What's up today is making a financial tour of what you have. I understand that if you have no idea what you're starting with, we cannot go to plan B. Take this as asking Google Map to take you somewhere from nowhere. Google Map is just gonna look at you like this. First thing first, income, what do you do every month? So I'm gonna do this with you and we're gonna say that I have one job that pays me 3k a month, yes. Uh, but I didn't hear that. Let's say I have a blog that gives me 50 bucks a month. Well, I forgot to put a total. Good job, Teddy. <laughs> Next are your expenses. And your expenses are any cost that goes out of your pocket that you're obligated to pay. Normally, it goes with housing, car, slash transportation, and food. All the rest, going to the restaurant there, going to the cinema there. Expenses that you can cut, that you can play with. This goes after in budgeting. I do want to do a video about budgeting in the future. If you're watching this and now we're in the future and you want to learn about budgeting, make sure to check out my videos because maybe I've posted a video about budgeting, if that makes sense. So let's do this. Expenses. So we're going to go with first thing first, rent. Let's say I pay $600 per rent. And you guys know it's not true because I live with my mama for free. She's so kind. Okay, next I put down my car, my phone, electricity, groceries, and um... These are all falls, like I said. By the way, I have a real video about everything that I have to pay. If you're ever curious about my financial life and how much money I had when I started my journey, you can click right here because it'll be linked there. You have a total of $1,300 of expenses. Financial overview. This page is extremely important. This is what we're going to work on to know how much you can save, to know how much you can budget, to know how much you can spend it. I don't know what you want to do and we can analyze if we need more money. We can analyze if we need to cut into expenses. This is the starting point. You need to do this. Okay, we're just gonna put down our income or expenses where it needs to go. So we, I just copied and pasted. Here you need to find your net income, which is your income minus your expenses. I have a net income of 
$50. This money is your new baby. I see here, your net income is a very important number. It's your baby. It's now time for you to analyze your baby, make a saving plan and or a budget plan to ensure that your baby is healthy. That's it. You've completed the first step, which is to make a goal and to analyze what you're starting with. So it doesn't stop here. Don't stop here. I will see you next week and we're gonna analyze these results and we are gonna start planning and executing. Very important. So thank you guys so much for watching this video until the end. Hopefully you like this new energy in my videos. I redid all my thumbnails to make them more vibrant and different from the crowd. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna support me, the best way to do that is give it a thumbs up, comment down, subscribe, share. Also, I post daily on Instagram, so if you wanna follow me, the link is in the description box down below at Financial Vibes. So I'll see you guys in my next video, which is next Monday. No, now be there, seriously. Bye! But for real, if you watch this video until the end and you're here to support me and you liked it really, thank you so much. I don't even know how to thank you and I don't even emotional, but it means like the world to me. So, thanks. And hopefully